Liberty 7 here. Thank you so much for joining me in Planet Crafter. Now, I'm a little torn. I said I didn't know if I wanted to, you know, build a house with a view up on top here, or actually live in the crater, and I got comments about both. Somebody said to get like a really huge expansive base down here and just fill up the sandfalls. And I was thinking like, oh, I could maybe build like a huge tower coming out the top of it. That would be very cool. Another one was saying, you know, having a, a cool view of the sand falls would be really neat. So, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to think about that for a little. Bit. Thankfully, this is one of the uh, the few low lying areas that won't flood. So, got options. Uh, the food growers are processing, but probably not as fast as we could have them. So we might want some additionals here. Should have the aluminum for this. And if we don't have it here, I think it's up top. Yeah, because we, we left a ton of stuff up top still. Alright, so right off the bat here, let's go back up top, get everything we might have missed out of that wrecked shipping container. And anything that's left in the little box that I made for myself up there. And we're going to start needing to get some screens. Most importantly, we're going to need to get the terraformation stage screen. Because that's going to tell me when I got to start ratcheting things up. Although from the looks of things... We're kind of approaching blue sky already. You know, it's a little confusing as to why I'm getting more meteor events at 1.0 than I was at 1.5. Uh, that's another of the reasons that, you know, I had for it kind of bailing on that last series and that last challenge that I was doing. Uh, there's, there's a few aspects that I'm pretty convinced aren't working as intended. Although, crappy thing is, because of my current location, you know, the, the meteors always follow you. And being in this little crater... Oh, nice, a couple of them did actually hit here, though. Alright, cool, cool. Oh boy, there's... there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot more stuff than what I anticipated being here. Also, I'm not sure, at least I don't remember, if, uh... I ever got all of the, um... the deconstructs out of there. And specifically, I'm not sure if I got the um, the two larger heaters. There's what, uh, two tier twos in there, I think, right? Yeah, I'm really only concerned with the iron and the aluminum. Everything else I have access to. Uh, for some reason, I think it may have been getting this playthrough confused with some of the dozen of other ones that I was doing. I thought that I had access to aluminum in the crater, but as I was looking around, uh, as I was starting this... I didn't see any, so we might not have aluminum down there. Oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be several trips. <laughs> and I've already got the backpack level three, so <laughs> nothing really I can do about that. So I'm just gonna get loaded up as best I can. Oh jeez. Yeah, even though I have currently an abundance of iron, just because I know how finite of a resource that is, I am gonna want to make sure to snag just as much of it as, as I possibly can. All right, so let me get all these trips back and forth, and I'll see you in a sec. All right, well, I have moved everything down here, eh, for the most part. I think there's um, a handful of, like, maybe some iridium up there or something, but our food just grew, so we're looking fairly sustainable, I think. Uh, these gotta go. Actually, during some of my trips back and forth, I noticed that I was tripping over these, so... Uh, we should also have access to... Yeah. Yeah, it's it's time. Alright, so let's get a good chunk of these ones torn down. Yeah, that's to be expected. Nope, magnesium. Forgot about that part. Alright, so as I'm getting ready to head out, minor cause for concern, we really don't have aluminum down here. So, no aluminum down here. I didn't see any up on top there either. And the reason that we're heading out right now is because... Another golden chest that I completely forgot about. Or it might even be a new one. Uh, I know that every time there's an update, they, uh... They add more and more gold chests. So I know about this Osmium Cave thing over here. But people are saying it's not actually frozen in there. It's up on top, I guess? Although with this... With that glowing as red as it just was, I wonder if that's uh, still an Osmium Cave. It might be an Iridium Cave today. Alright, now I was told on top... 
Hmm. Not tracking anything, though. Like, like how on top? Like way up on top or? Oh, hello. Oh, that's a sneaky little hiding spot you got. Hmm, got a blueprint in there too. Might want to decode that. All right, we definitely got to get some base expansion though, because I need screens. I need the big screens. I need the small screens. I need just all the screens. But first, what are you? Oh, killer. That is important. Uh, two super and two fabric. I might have that. Ooh, uh, do we have any just lying around? Oh, Vegetube 3, killer. Uh, I know that, that Super sometimes gets the roll of the dice as being one of the freebies that just lands on the ground. Uh, looking like maybe I don't have that. Now, I don't think I remember seeing any Super up top there either. Although it could be some of the stuff that I left behind. Oh, nuts. Tier 3 takes. Okay. Hmm. Well, at the very least, we should get the golden into here. And then swap out all the meh lerma for something better. Alright, good deal, good deal. Yeah, I would still like one more food grower, but no aluminum. That, uh, that's a problem I'm not used to having. Man, I really do wish you could put these on top of each other. It'd be really helpful when you're in that new lep stage of having to use lockers instead of uh, being able to use, you know, or using the chest and you don't even have access to lockers yet. Alright, thankfully it looks like all the screens don't take anything too severe. So that's cool. Um, let me just take one last run back up the top because I know that I left a little bit of stuff but I honestly can't remember what. Oh, and yeah, the, um, the, the chests are doing the Weeping Angels thing again. I thought that was fixed and then... I thought it was not fixed, and then I thought, you know, oh, wait, maybe the chest part is fixed, but the, uh, the wreck part wasn't? Uh, no, the, the, the chests are definitely not fixed. They're, uh, they're doing the Weeping Angels thing. Ah, nuts. All right, it was, it was uranium that I left behind. Well, crap. And we also don't need that here. Well, nuts, we're, uh, we're going to be kind of stagnated if we can't find any aluminum. All right, well, even with the randomized ores, it's still the same problem as the base game. Oh no, I need iron. Well, now I'm graduated past the iron stage, and oh no, now I need aluminum. And then, oh no, now I need uranium. There's always that, oh no, your uh, resource that bottlenecks you behind something. I might have to go for a walk. Now let's get all this stuff put away, and then we'll uh, we'll see what I'm looking at for gear and for gear unlocks. Um, holy crap! I have access to the two and the three and i'm wearing a one so that's a problem ah damn it that aluminum that's a problem as well oh interesting we ran out of magnesium and i would have sworn that we had some down here all right well we might be stuck taking some shallow breaths for a little bit now unfortunately there's no wreckage in the sulfur cave but there should be at least one a fairly easily accessible blue chest and yeah, gold chests are cool and all, you know, get the, the statues and the guarantee. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we're uh, apparently going to need to come home with a good chunk of that. <laughs> Did not expect of all resources that, that would be a stumbling block. Oops. <laughs> and here I am with no iron, and yet I've got, uh, what, three chests worth of iron now, I think? Uh, speaking of chests, where the hell is that chest? There we are. Well, there's that super for the, um, for the boots that I want. Oh, now you give it to me. Okay. I wish you could get home, start spending some of that iron and titanium that we've got lying, and really get these screens up. I mean, get more boxes, but then get the screens up. Now, if I do stay living, like, down in the bottom, I don't think I'm going to live here. I think I'm going to live closer to like where the actual drop pod itself is, uh, maybe try to incorporate that into some sort of decoration if I don't, you know, go up top instead. Uh, but I am going to want at least a few more boxes here just to give walking around and living space. Oh, that is helpful. Alrighty, so probably went a little on the overboard side in the lockers for the current you know, situation that we're in, but I at least have room for my screens now, so let's get as many of those up as we can. 
iron situation isn't quite as flush as it was a minute ago, but, you know, that's what happens when you go from chests to lockers. It's a one iron to three iron. Alrighty, so there's that. And then what is likely going to be the single most important screen in this entire playthrough. That is our Sword of Damocles. Excellent. Ooh, I can have a desk. I didn't know if I had unlocked this yet or not. Uh, you know what, that's probably going to be kind of important too. I mean, not right this second, but going forward, it's going to be. Ooh, and we don't have aluminum. And that's our best power. Oh yeah, it unlocked the beacon, and even that's going to take aluminum. We're going to have to go for a walk, guys. Well, I had envisions of getting a whole bunch of heaters put up and... You know, really kicking the, uh, the terraformation stuff. If I don't find aluminum, we're going to be really stagnated because I can't make anything. Well, the tier 2 heaters, I think, take aluminum as well. But if we can't make any power... Uh, so we've got arches up there. I think the arches are a back way into the crater. Um, like, I don't think you have to wait for the ice to melt to get into the crater. Why is this so blindingly bright all of a sudden? But I'm thinking maybe we might have to just hoof it and go all the way out to the desert wreck. Uh, we can't get inside the Iridium Cave from here. At least not yet. We're going to need a ton more heaters before we're able to knock down any of those walls. And I'm just trying to think, what is the ice currently blocking us from and what is it not? Oh wow, that's actually quite a bit closer than I thought it was. Uh, but I know the ice is blocking us from the Iridium side. Uh, should be blocking us from the Osmium Cave off the Sulfur. What in the world was that? Anybody else just see a bunch of trees pop in over here? That was interesting. Alright, so we've got Tier 2 Agility Boots and Tier 2 O2 Tank. We can make the Tier 3, but again, aluminum. Um, yeah, there's stuff that I want here. Ooh. Actually, I take the magnesium. <laughs> that was a, a linchpin item. A linchpin item. Although, given that I'm giving myself more time, you know, just with, like, the, the vital depletion and stuff like that, I am seeing the RNG with the, the randomized ores. It really can make some playthroughs just a complete no-win scenario. Like, the, if you don't get this or don't get that, or if there's if there's too many critical items that you're missing, you know, it, it's a you might as well re-roll type of situation. All right, let's see if there's any aluminum in here. I know there's going to be there's going to be a ton of stuff. There's going to be unlocked chips. There's going to be free seeds, free. Uh, Free rockets. Oh, there's aluminum. Outstanding. Now, I've got the food, I've got the water. So, I'm thinking we're probably going to lay down some chests. Maybe do a full rob of the place. Just take everything. And then we can get up here, sort everything else out. You know, and then I can get some split chests of, like, okay, what's a, what's a want to take home? What's a need to take home? Because aluminum and magnesium, that, that's that's job number one for what we're here for. And then, of course, if, you know, time and backpack space permits, there's, there's certainly some would-like-to-haves down here as well, like you. Now, if I remember correctly, shouldn't there be a guaranteed bean seed in this place somewhere? Is it is it upstairs? Yeah, no, it might not be on this floor. In fact, I think it's not on this floor. Oh, never mind. There's one. Oh, right. The guaranteed iron chest. <laughs> Forgot all about that guy. Alright, downstairs should be done. Yeah, I can't have any of the, the circuit boards yet, but we don't need them yet. Hmm. I mean, cool. Yeah, 
I forget just how loaded this place is with um, the food seeds. Like, I, I think you're guaranteed to get at least one of each. <laughs> Usually, like, 12 of each. Yeah, and the frickin' uh, oxygen seeds as well. Oop, full again. Well, by the time it comes to actually empty, empty the place, th this is gonna be a multi trip event. <laughs> Oh, holy Christmas. I just stuck my head down here in the basement again because I <laughs> forgot that they uh, didn't fully empty the, the guaranteed iron chest. Wow, that was a ton of aluminum. Also managed to get another bean seed out of it too. All right, but we have burned through all of the eggplants that I brought. Got one more space food here, so getting hungry might be an issue. Should, at this TI level, find one more um, space food in here. So, should have the time to be able to do a pretty good search. Oh, that's the, that's the fusion lock. I got all the oxygen seeds, I think. Uh, should be, what, one or two more in here. Oh, another unlock chip. Cool, cool. And then we should be able to call this place done in a sec. But most importantly, we're going to be calling this place done with a ton of aluminum in our pockets and a ton of, well, a ton of bean seeds, but a ton of aluminum and a ton of magnesium that we're going to be able to bring home. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, I've put up a crafting station here just because, you know, water and oxygen, it could probably help. This one is awfully far away, and we might actually have to come back here. All right, well, after going through all of my stuff, uh, I thought I was coming home with a ton of magnesium. No, we're not coming home with Jack for magnesium, unfortunately. Crap, I thought we had a lot more than that. All right, so I've got round one of my winnings sorted out here. Got the level two boots, got the level three. Uh, so we should be okay for a pretty significant walk here. Now, oh, and the annoying thing is I'm getting bombed while I'm on the move. Usually when there's a meteor strike, I kind of like to stick as close as I can to, you know, at least some kind of outpost. Because then, you know, you, you can kind of coalesce all of the impact and then go and collect anything the game. Under normal circumstances, that's not important until later on in the game when you want, like, all that iridium or all that uranium or something. But right now, it's actually even important at this stage because I want all that iron in one place and I want all that aluminum in one place. Not to mention, apparently, magnesium is now important. Although we've got it here. You know, it's not a, a super far walk to get into uh, the sulfur cave here. And then we can get we can get the magnesium off the floor. So I guess for a full resource check, iron and aluminum are critical. Magnesium is an annoyance. And then everything else is, well, we have pretty much whatever we want. All right, let's definitely get these guys swapped out, though. I mean, yeah, the three eggplants are able to sustain us, but why chance it? You know, it also takes up extra inventory slots. You know, why carry three eggplants when you can carry one bean? Um, are you going to give me anything? Oh, all right, cool. Um, eh, I, I don't usually ever make those, honestly. Uh, cool. Oh. Oh. Does that need explosive? No, it does not. That might be super important, actually. Oh, let's also get another one of you guys swapped up. Why is there a Lerma here? How did, how did you get missed? I still don't have the big constructor yet. What gives me the big constructor? Oh, uh, just general TI? Okay. Oh, geez, we're gonna have heater tier threes. We don't even have uh, the power generation just yet. Oh, crap. Well, day one, you need to get the uh, heat and O2 moving, but yeah, we're gonna need this pressure moving. Oh my God, the pressure's going nowhere. I have two level one insignificant nothings. <laughs> All right, we need to get a couple more trips out there get all of our winnings back here we need to get a crap load more solar and we gotta get this pressure moving you know it's funny even your uh, your starter chest respawns 
because I know I've torn that down. There's no way I haven't hit you yet. I, I stand corrected. Oh man, if I'm going to be stopping for the stuff that fell from the sky, oh jeez, I'm going to turn three trips into six. I'll tell you what though, seeing all the zeolite out in the open like this, I'm used to seeing it in caves, but when it's on the surface like this, it's actually really pretty. I mean, the game in general is just beautiful, but the randomized ore is giving me all sorts of new and beautiful things to see that don't normally exist in the base game. Look, look at that. That just looks cool. You know what? I'm looking at the, uh, the super cave over there. Might want to stick our head in there at some point. You know, I, I know extraction is a long ways off for us, but knowing what's around in the surrounding area is going to be really helpful. Uh-oh. I think we're approaching our first milestone. Well, it's only going to be 0.1 in every direction. 0.1's not that bad. Once we get into, you know, I'd say around 0 0.5 in either direction, then it's going to be... Then it's going to be tight. So we've got a couple of stages before I get uh, too worried. We'll just have to get some unlocks that'll mitigate the situation. Okay, cool, there's that, but we don't have the power for it. Also, did we just tick? No, we did not tick. Oh! Oh, 100 KTI. Okay, I thought we were... Never mind. Oh, you blockhead. It says right up in the upper left-hand corner exactly what you're going for. Amazing. Alright, so 175 KTI, so we are still approaching it rather quickly. And I haven't even put down the advanced drills that I want to put down. In fact, actually, I haven't put down much of anything aside from tearing down all of my low-level solar and making the advanced solar. What is going on with those trees? Like, I'm not crazy. Like, you guys saw that, right? Is is the giant desert wreck a spot where, where they, they spawn in now? I know that they do it at, um, at the waterfall. You know, the waterfall is now a location that has, uh, you know, when you reach that that spot or that uh, that TI level, they just automatically spawn their own stuff. Uh, there's their own algae that spawns in, their own trees. You know, this whole ecosystem just spawns up without you even touching anything, which I love. That that's it's probably my favorite my favorite location on the map. Man, this might be the playthrough that I actually break down and make uh, make teleporters early. Or I mean, as early as I can. Oh, ladder. It must be one of uh, Ziodans. Oh, wow, I did not realize how close that was. We might want to hit that. Could be some aluminum and magnesium in there. Actually, we should definitely hit that because I think that one floods. And if I don't hit it now, I, I definitely could miss out on it. I remember one time I was in a, a later game and I was looking for that specific ladder, and man, I had a, a crazy hard time finding it because at the stage that I was at, we already had water, so I just could not track that thing down to save my life. You know, I don't know where this osmium came from, but I'm totally leaving it there because I like the little, uh, it's like a porch light. I like it. And actually, you know what? The blue sky TI is probably the best time looking around for that kind of stuff. It knocks down a ton of the dust, so your visibility is like me. And look at how far I can see. I can see the um, the labyrinth wrecks. You know, like the backside there. You know, you can see way crazy better. You can see all the scaffolding and stuff. The dust is way less. But at the same time, you're not having to contend with the flooding just yet. So that's probably the prime time for looking for any of the wrecks that you have a really hard time looking for. Ah, uh, you know what? That's probably going to do it for this place. Uh, there's stuff still here. I mean, nobody needs that many eggplants. Um, the Lerma is going to come in handy, especially once we start getting rocket technology, but I'll just remember, oh, hey, there's Lerma here, you know? Oh, duh, and I'm also forgetting there's an entire machine that relies on them, the grass spreaders. <laughs> I always forget about the grass spreaders. Like, I always treat them as such a, a redheaded stepchild in the, uh, the tech tree. Okay, never mind, forget the twos. I was actually just thinking like, okay, when we get back, now that I've got a good chunk of uh, 
at least aluminum so we can get the power situation under control. I was like, okay, we got to get that pressure moving because we're going to need those uranium. We need to get the power to get the drills, get the drills to get better power. The game is a, a perpetual rock, paper, scissors, chicken and the egg situation. Well, this stat is about to get real different real fast. Um, give me these back too because our iron situation is slightly not great now. <laughs> Man, the ebb and flow on that. I get bombed with a bunch of meteors and I'm fine on it and then I start making lockers which take three each. All right, let's see if we can smoke the power grid with these drills. No, not yet. Uh, 18. I'm pretty sure those take more than 18. Oh, only five. All right, killer. Give me more. Although if I'm playing that close to the cutoff point here. Oh. Um. Right. Oh, it's 15 too. And we got nine. Huh. All right, so let's get one more of these guys put out. And we'll see if we've got the resources for the screen and the antenna. I might not have all that. I always like putting it on top, but I don't have a way of getting on top. Uh, it, it can it can go here for now. I don't like. I'll I'll make some stairs once once iron becomes less of an issue. I'll make some stairs and get up there. And place that in a better location. Yeah, we do not have the iron for another desk unfortunately all right well it, it sucks to suck you gotta just sit on the floor for the time being and yeah sentinel corp we're a convict wait what is why do i have two tabs up here that's new i don't know what that does or what that means <laughs> oh now i'm excited for this thing Half my playthroughs, I ignore that thing altogether. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I know who Riley is, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of stuff comes through there now. Well, I wasn't planning on going out to that big desert wreck this early. Or... Why? Why are you empty? Also, why are you a level one? What? Yeah, but anyway, as I was about to say, I wasn't planning on going out to that desert wreck quite this fast, but... I'm going to want the three iron from all those lockers that I put up. I was not envisioning going through that much iron that fast. And yeah, we're going to gimmick the chests along the way too. Listen, there's three chests. They're like right there. We're going to need them. Oh. That one's probably Riley, but we already know what they're going to tell us, and we already know that we don't have to worry about that. Even though we're in a low-lying area, we're, we're going to be fine. Although, like some people have pointed out and mentioned, lake water collectors and especially algae, like early onset algae that we're going to need, might be a little bit of a pain. Yep, there goes those trees. A little bit of a lag spike, and then yep, trees. I, I gotta come back here. Uh, as this playthrough continues and progresses, I want to see what happens over here. Also, once again, getting hit as I decided to leave the house. Couldn't have all this, you know, conveniently located within my uh, my little crater bunker thing. Oh well. Well, I guess while I'm here, I'll uh, I'll bring the Lerma back. And we'll just leave this eggplant, the, <laughs> the plastic. Uh, on the way, really should snag magnesium. Yeah, just, uh, keep an eye as we're doing our usual commute back home here. Any magnesium and iron that rolled? Because, boy, it does like to roll, doesn't it? Hey, you know what? I've got one O2 tank on me. Uh-oh. Well, I was just about to say, I've got 102 tank on me. I kind of want to check in here just to see what's on the ground. But we also got to get home because we need to make some modifications now. Iridium. I wonder if this is like an actual Iridium cave then. Like, like for mining purposes. Oh, the, the ground is starting to turn its colors too. 
All right, so let's get home. We'll dump everything off that we need to dump off. Suck down an O2 tank. We'll check our email. And then we'll set up our modifications. Like I said, I'm not worried. 0 0.1. That should be fine. Well, once we get to, uh, you know, the 0.5 or... 0.7 range or something like that. That's when I'm gonna start to sweat a little, I think. Yeah, we're gonna be really, really established, but we're also gonna need some serious unlocks. We're gonna need trade because there's certain things that can only get through the trade rocket system, and we're gonna need those when we get to, like, like I said, minus 0 0.7 or plus 0 0.7. All right, but coming home with all this iron and three extra magnesium, very happy with that. All right, let's check email, and then we'll have to uh, log out real quick. Like, am I supposed to be able to search the web with this? Like, wh what is this other icon? And, yeah, grow stuff by yourself. Oh, you're not mentioning the water yet? Okay. Alrighty, well, let's get out of here and uh, see what that does to the power situation. And one for you. Wait, why isn't it letting me... Oh, no. Well, unfortunately, it's not letting me change anything. I had tested this and it was let me click buttons after I had, you know, already started and, and joined into a, a playthrough. But now it, it's not letting me change anything. So I'm going to have to look into this and see if there's a workaround for it or something. But but I was planning on calling it an episode here anyway. Um, hmm. Yeah, so we're supposed to be increasing our difficulty here. I definitely remember messing around with this when the customization thing first came out. I would have been certain that I had made a game, jumped in, had some, you know, settings tweaked, made it, you know, jumped in again, tweaked the settings. It's not letting me do that right yet. So, yeah, I'll have to look around, see if there's a way to do that. And, um, in the meantime, thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Planet Crafter. This is Seven. Bye.